Boyard, the ultimate test of skill, strength and courage. Marooned in the middle of the Atlantic, our six teams must take on the fearsome challenges of the fort in a desperate battle to win keys. These keys unlock the fort's treasure chamber, where the teams must grab as many gold coins as they can. The two teams who collect the most gold throughout the series will face off in the grand final to become the ultimate conquerors of the fort. Who has the guts, the stamina, the sheer willpower to emerge victorious? Will it be one of the teams on today's Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge? Welcome to Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. Two intrepid teams have taken on the mighty force of the fort and each other in a series of nail-biting challenges. That they are indeed. For every challenge they complete successfully, they'll win a key. They need five keys to get into the treasure chamber to give them the maximum amount of time to collect the gold. Whichever team grabs the most gold gets the glory. So let's meet both our teams. Everyone should be very scared of the Jaguars because we are definitely going to win. Whatever the fort has to offer, I'm up for it. I'm not a very good loser. And we must win and our team I'm sure we will. How competitive am I? On a scale of 1 to 10, 11. I can pretty much take on any challenge that's handed to me. In my eyes, there's not really such thing as losing. I'm really competitive and I really want to win. The Vipers are definitely going to win because we're up for it and we're up for a challenge. Welcome, welcome teams to Fort Boyard. How you doing? Good, thank you. Are we ready for a series of challenges today? Yeah! All right, Woo! we'll start with you, Vipers. Lauren, team captain, yeah. what have you guys got that is going to take these guys out? I mean, today we're focused, we're positive, and we are ready to bring anything that the fort is going to bring to us. So, mm, like that. Feeling good. Mm, some confident chat there. Mm. And uh, Tom, team captain, can I just hear that chant one more time? Go, Green Jaguars! Aim for the gold! Pubs! Pubs! Hands, roar! <laughs> I love this. Are you ready to find out what challenges lie ahead? We are more than ready. Are you ready, guys? Yes! yes! Let's find out what the first challenge is. So we're going to get things started with a challenge for both teams. Jamie and Tom are up here, 60 feet above the sea. They're going to zip wire down, find their markers, dive down, grab the key, swim to the boy to reveal the code and shout it back to their teammates who are waiting on the steps below who can open the box to grab the key. The first team to grab the key will win this all-important challenge. So, boys, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. How are you feeling about standing 60 feet above the sea? A bit high, but I'm up for it. Let's do it. Gonna be the ride of your life, yeah, right? Definitely. Well, good luck. Your challenge starts now. And here they go, they're in, they're in. Come on, Jamie. You've got it. Swim. Oh, yeah, come on, Look, uh, that's, that's almost neck to neck at this point. Really nice. Tom's ducked under his marker to unclip the key he needs to open the code. You're going to have to listen out for the code. Come on, Jamie. Jamie's taking longer to get his key, but it looks like he's got it. Now he needs to open it. He needs to open the box with the code in. Come on, Tom. Tom's shouting out the code to the Jaguars. Two, six, three, one. Two, six, three, one. Two, six, three, one. Come on. I'll do it, I'll do it. Jamie's got the code as well for the Vipers. What have we got for the Vipers? Could you have done that? 
No, it's well, done really well. How do, you think it, how do you think it is being 60 feet above the sea and zip wiring down? Pretty scary. Oh, it's it's pretty fun to me. When we were told to go, me and Tom counted one, two, three, and both stepped off at the same time, and we were literally just screaming the whole way down. Uh, I dived down, grabbed my key first, and was onto the platform way before he was. I think he had a bit of trouble on clipping the, uh, the key. Up until the key, it was really neck and neck, and um, I think Tom just got managed to unhook his really easily and got to the boy before me. Uh, I was very determined to beat Jamie um, on the challenge, uh, as obviously he's an incredibly fit guy. I'm quite competitive, so I hated losing that one. After that incredible first challenge, let's have a look at the scoreboard. It's the first key to the Jaguars and none to the Vipers. OK. Vipers, don't you worry, because there's plenty of time to get more keys. Are you ready for the next challenge? Yeah. Come with me, let's do this. Come on, Vipers. Come on, Vipers. Come on, Vipers. Right, here we go. You are one key down, but you can still make it up right now. Yeah. Anne Carrad, you're going to be doing this one. Do you think you're going to do it? Of course you can. All right. No problem. Nice one, team captain. This is what you have to do. Inside is the cabin of a boat. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is go inside and find the key. The key is hidden, so you need to turn the cabin upside down, rip everything apart, grab everything. Okay. But there's a storm brewing. The cabin's going to be swaying from side to side, just to make it that little bit more difficult for you. OK. All right? Yeah. Don't forget, the key could be anywhere. Look in everything, open everything. Okay. You right? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. OK, get ready. Because you your time starts now. Everything. Go for it, Ang Harrod. Really tear up that room. The key is there somewhere. Keep looking. Come okay. Back. Get everything you possibly can. Keep oh, ripping come it. Come on, you can do it. Just look everywhere. Yeah, Anything. Well. Anything could hold it, you know, in the chest, open the drawers, take it look, look out. Looking cupboards, and if there's books or anything. There we go, like yes, that's, all, that's always good advice. That's it, undo the rope, lift the book. Well, if it's not in there, try somewhere else. She's got it, she's found the key. Oh, Where was it? Where was it? Was it? was it? Yeah. OK, well, let's take a look at some of that action right now. I went in the chest and I found the book with the ribbon on it and I thought, oh, it must be in here. So I had to steady myself, because it was rocking back and forth. I had to steady myself on the wall and undo the ribbon. Opened it and there was no key in it. I was completely gutted. So I thought, where else am I going to look? So I started on the drawers and it was in the third drawer down. And then I just ran out. Brilliant stuff. So you guys have got a key. How do you feel? Great! Yeah. That was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Let's take a look at the scores so far. The Vipers have one key and the Jaguars also have one key as well. Right, guys, take a chill pill. Laura's with the Jaguars. Time now for the Jaguars solo challenge. Izzy and Tom must climb the ladder, get on the seesaw and grab the code, which is in two parts at either end. It's really important that they work together as a team. Once they've got the code, they need to shout it out to their teammates who can open the box to grab the key, and they've got to do that up against the clock. Izzy, how are you feeling? Great. What's the temperature of the water like? It's all right, it's <laughs> I'm <Okay>. freezing. <laughs> and Tom, are you freezing, did you say? I'm absolutely freezing. <laughs> OK, well, good luck. I'm not going to make you wait much longer. You are up against the clock. Are you ready? Yes. Your challenge starts now. Come on, Izzy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. That's easy. Just take it steady and I slow. He's climbing up fine. really well here. Come on, mate. Take your time. Take your time. That's it. Good go. This is totally about balance and working together, using each other's weight as a counterweight. It's tough. Oh, to tips a lot. If one goes too far, he's going to be uh, sliding into that to water. Get on and weigh it down. Hold on to that. Really in. Hold on to the right. right. That's it. You want it? Now both guys, guys yeah. are on the seesaw. OK. Now slowly move yourselves backwards. Guys, they might want to turn around the other way. Yeah, I'd turn around if I was you and lie on your front. Yeah, it's been my first. That might make it a yeah, bit easier. Thank you. Is it you pull yourself along. Nice and Just shuffle around. 
Okay, be careful. Don't worry. Okay, yeah, that's brilliant. That's easy. You ready? Tom, if you do the same. If you yeah. do the left one, crawl. Are you, are you good? Yes. Right, just turn around to keep it nice and easy. Izzy, lean forward so more of your weight is coming there. Yeah. Okay. They might Fine. Yeah. want to decide one person That's gets it. the code before yeah, the other, on. whilst the other person's acting as a counterweight. I think, Izzy, I think Izzy's going to do gonna that. Izzy's going to do this first. Uh, but they both need to be at the same <clears> distance <throat> apart to balance. Okay, yeah, go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, yeah, Steady. nice That's and slow, nice and slow, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Go on, Izzy, keep going. Keep, keep calm keep and a bit of time. This is your chance to get well, a second a key. Time. You're doing brilliant. Yeah, Izzy, tilt in my way. Move forward, Izzy. Okay, keep moving Tom, nice and steady. Keep more, it steady. Bit more, Tom, bit more. That's brilliant. That's it, that's it. Izzy, you go forward. That's it. You really need to communicate with each other to make this work. Izzy, Izzy, move forward. You're doing brilliant. Keep going. Each go shuffle along carefully. So, Izzy, move yeah, forward. Okay, nice that's and it, slow. Try Tom. and get to the end, Tom. Hold on, that's okay. It, that's it, that's it, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you got your keep coat. It nice You're and steady. Great. Nice and steady. You're doing brilliant, Izzy's not Time is really yeah. ticking, guys. Okay. Pull it, just pull it. That's it, Izzy. Okay. Let's see. Eight one dot dot. Eight one dot dot. Izzy, stay on the end. How are we doing, Tom? Tom? It's, no, it's eight one dot dot. Yeah. It's eight one dot dot. How are we doing, Tom? All right, Tom. He needs to lean Nine forward. Seven. Lean forward, lean Nine forward. Seven. He's Nine seven. Nine out. Nine seven. 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 Yes, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I feel like I've put on a bit of weight. <laughs> You're going to have to jump off together to get off the seesaw. Three, two, two one, jump! Jump, jump no, both no, of you, no, go! Jump! Is he... Jump! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at some of that action back. Uh, when we got up to the top of it, uh, we both got on it nice and easily, but then we realised that we were facing each other and uh, the codes were in the opposite direction, so we'd obviously have to turn around. That was probably one of the scariest parts because you thought you were going to drop just by doing that. Also, the other scary part was as we were right up to the end and I was like literally really, really tall and he was all the way down. That was kind of scary. You thought we were going to drop then. Well done, guys! You got a second key! How are you feeling? Oh, amazing! <laughs> Let's take a look at how that affects the scoreboard. It's two to the Jaguars and one to the Vipers. Well done, T. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, after that exciting challenge, I think it's time for us to take a break. But don't go anywhere, because there's lots more challenges to come. We'll see you soon. Quick, grab a bargain at the next winter sale. Absolutely all sale items, half price or even less. The next winter sale, now on. Save even more on all the brands you love. Don't miss the Furniture Village Brands event. On now. Do you have a busy family home and are fed up of cleaning your floors like this? The remarkable Vax Bare Floor Pro combines our specially formulated detergent with steam to give incredible cleaning power, effortlessly cleaning your kitchen, bathroom and lounge floors, leaving your wooden, stone, laminate or tiled floors dry, sparkling clean and smelling citrus fresh. It's lightweight, quick and easy. Order yours for just $99.99 or three instalments of $33.33. It comes with detergent and two reusable microfiber cloths and you'll also get an extra bottle of detergent and a coral pad absolutely free. Call now or visit vaxsteam.com. This is the story of Billy and Charlotte who shared the same great love, stargazing. So what better holiday gift for Charlotte, thought Billy, than a few million billion stars? With his Dell Inspiron 14Z Ultrabook, powered by the Intel Core processor, Billy captured the entire cosmos in all its glory and sent it to her. Happy Christmas, Charlotte. So now the stars could come out whenever Charlotte wanted. Get Billy's Inspiron 14Z Ultrabook inspired by Intel at £479 or details of Charlotte's XPS 12 at dell.co.uk. 
Q kitchen prices are low every day of the year. But now, as part of the big B&Q sale, we have an extra 15% off everything in store until January the 1st. And that's on top of our already low sale prices. Kitchen-Compare.com independently check our prices against the competition, even during the sales. So with great low prices and a 10-year guarantee on our kitchens, don't miss out on your chance to get a new kitchen this new year from B&Q. The big B&Q sale. Big sale, small prices. Back in the good old days, if you needed a loan, the bank manager would often ask someone who knew you to guarantee it. Simple. Then things changed, and all those computer credit scores took over. That's why we've gone back to a time when loans were simpler. At Amiga Loans, you don't need a credit score, just someone who trusts you to guarantee your loan repayments. Borrow up to £5,000 over one to five years. Come to AmigaLoans.co.uk. The all-new, good old-fashioned loan. I'm sexy and I know it. This is Zumba Fitness Dance Party. The brand new official album with original Zumba Fitness tracks, plus superstar artists. Join in the party with 40 tracks on two CDs. The perfect gift for all Zumba lovers. Zumba Fitness Dance Party, the album, out now. From nine to five I have to spend my time at work My job is very boring, I'm an office clerk The only thing that helps me pass the time away Is knowing I'll be back at Echo Beach someday Nothing beats a holiday by the seaside And many of ours are now half price Call or visit haven.com Echo Beach, far away in town Haven, Britain's favourite seaside holiday Start a new year with Daybreak and Lorraine. And start a new day with the stars. This January, we've a host of familiar faces. From the small screen to the silver screen. It's an all singing, all dancing, showbiz spectacular. January on Daybreak and Lorraine. Welcome back to Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. The Vipers are taking on the Jaguars in a battle to see how many keys they can win from the fort. So far, the Jaguars have two keys and the Vipers have one key, but there are still many keys to be won. Next challenge is for both our teams. Hank Harrod, you're doing this for the Vipers. Celeste, you're doing this for the Jaguars. Are you ready? Yes. yes. OK, this is what you have to do. Inside this cell, there are keys hanging above your head. You need to find the right two keys to open the box on the floor, which will contain the real key, which you need to win the challenge. Now, Vipers, you are going for the white keys, and Jaguars, you're going for the black keys. There's a little twist of the tail, because the ceiling gets lower the longer you stay in the room. And we've also got in there some... Uh, Slithery friends. Just a small one. Just a small one, yeah. Just a tiny one. So, are you ready? Yes. OK. Make your way in. Your challenge starts now. Celeste, you're looking for the black keys. And, Harrod, you're looking for the white ones. Remember, some of them are dummies, so you've got to find the correct two keys that unlock that box. Both, don't forget, the first person to grab the key wins it for their team. And to get that key, you need to unlock the box with two of those black or white keys. Okay, we need to get a move on on this one, because the ceiling and is going up. you need to hurry up. Move on. Move on. Move on. do as fast as you can. OK, Celeste, test it in the box. Right now, we're black. black. The black holes. OK, try it in that one. Both girls have got keys, but are they the right ones? Once. No, it doesn't always mean either. That's right. Try it in both and try it in both. Peel off. Okay. Remember, get on the floor if you need to. I'm not sure about this, Andy. Yeah. That one in both you need of them. Not hurry up. 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 Celeste has now tried two keys, but no success. Celeste is now trying her third key. Is this one of them? Looks like it could be. And Harrod's trying her second key. They need to get a move on. That scene's getting lower and lower. Really need the two keys. 
It now looks like Angharad has unlocked half of the box. Angharad's got her third key. Celeste got her fourth. Surely this must do it. Oh, so that's done it! She's opened the box and grabbed the key for the Jaguars! Talk to me, Celeste. How was that for you, man? Uh, the snake kills nothing. <laughs> <laughs> really? And are you happy you got a key for your team, obviously? Yeah. Well done, man. Well done. Not only a key, a third key! A third key? key. Well done! <laughs> Let's take a look at your highlights. We saw the big yellow snake right at the entrance, and me and Celeste were like, how are we going to get past that? We... <laughs> so we were panicking a bit then, but when we got in, it actually ended up it moved. So, But it was huge, and I thought there was going to be loads of them in there, but there was just the one. Um, because I wanted to win that key so badly, I took no notice of the snake and just went straight in for it. Celeste was incredible with the snakes, and I'm not sure if I would have been able to do that because that snake was huge. Well done, Jaguars. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. The Jaguars have three keys and the Vipers have one. <laughs> All right, Vipers, it's time to see if we can get another key. You're coming with me. Come on, let's do it. Come on, Vipers, let's do this! <laughs> All right. Team Captain, Lauren, who's doing this? John's doing this one. All right, John, have you got muscles? Uh, I think... <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of got to need them for this. Well, inside is a rocket, and what you need to do is push the rocket up the massive ramp. But you've got to time it, because the key you need is flicking from side to side. You need to time the push so that the nose clips onto the key, and then you've retrieved it, and obviously you succeeded in the challenge. But I must warn you, the rocket comes down at quite a quick pace, so when you push it, I want you to step away. Okay. All right? Yep. That's... Are you ready? Yep. Are you sure you can do this? Yes. Are we going to get a key? Yes. All right, make your way in. Your time starts. Time jump. Time jump. Time jump. Time it, time it. Okay, now he... it is. He, yeah, exactly. He's, it's he's got to really taste hard, what it's like. Really hard. Really hard. Huge that's it. That, oh, okay, there he's we go. Going, now going. you know what you have to do. Wait, wait, give it time. You've got to time it right. Time it when time, the key time it, John. Time it. John, slow time down it. and see where the key is coming. That's it. That's it. Give it a massive push, come on. Oh, it's gonna need a bit more power than that. Really hard, really hard push. See if you can try running with it to get a bit more. Try running with it, run with it, it's a push it Run with it and push it off it, there you go. Good man, that's it, that's much better. Time it, now time it right. You've got loads of time, you've got loads of time. You've got loads of time, you've got plenty of time. OK, he's chilling a bit too much. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> really hard, really hard push. Yeah, proper put some muscle You've into really it. Got really got to push it. Really got to push it. Really got to push it. No, a bit more You've effort than that. More that going going on. On. Keep trying, keep trying really hard. That's better. That's better. Now just right. time it. Turn to keep going, keep, keep going. going. It's taking keep too much going. of a pause. It's taking too much of a pause. You're taking too long. Just keep pushing, right, keep, pushing pushing keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. You can do it. Keep pushing, keep pushing it. it. You've got John, time. Your time is running out. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. All right, all right. Keep going, John. Go on, John. I'm losing it. Yeah. He's gonna... You're running out of energy, isn't he? What it need, all it needs, right, is one massive push. Just one last push. One more, 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 one I really felt under pressure to get the key for my team. However, every time I launched it, it seemed like I just missed short of the key. And it was really hard because push by push, it was sapping my strength away. So 
by the end, I just couldn't push any harder, and it was pretty hard to try and time the key as well. Unlucky Vipers, still plenty more keys to get. Let's take a look at the score so far. Yeah, it's three keys to the Jaguars and one key to the Vipers. All right, Vipers, relax, because Laura's with the Jaguars. Doing pretty well, Jaguars. Yes. Three pretty keys, well. chance for you to win a fourth key now. Tom, who's going to do this challenge? Mike's going to step up. Mike, come on over. So in this cell, you're going to find a pyramid that you can climb on top of. You've got to lift the bags off to find the key at the bottom. So this challenge requires strength and balance, and you've got to find the key whilst you're up against the clock. Does that make sense? Yes. You ready for this? Yes. Okay, lots of encouragement from the team. Take your place at the door. Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike. Your challenge starts oh, now. Mike. Go on, Mike. Go on, Mike. Go on, Mike. You're going to great. Right, I can do it. OK, lift it up, so lift it up. That's it, that's it. That's it, you're doing great. That's it, that's it. Just throw it up. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Quick. That's it, Mike. Grab the bag with one hand and lift it up so it's easy for you. That's it, that's it. You're doing well. Good, good. Well done, Mike. Keep it going, mate. Keep it going, Mike. 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 Keep it it's all heavy on pushing through because time That's is it, ticking fast. That's it, Mike. Come on. Sling the bag over your mate. shoulder or something. If that'll make it easier. This one's so heavy. It's Sling so much shoulder. heavier than the rest. Put it on your shoulder, Mike. Put it on your shoulder. That's it. Yeah, lift it up. Yes, Come on. It. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. That's it, Mike. Come on, Mike. That's it, Mike. You're doing great. That's it, Mike. Yeah, just yeah, stay there. Stay up there, Mike. Come on, Mike. Oh, come on, guys. Let him know how he's doing for time. Mike, you've got time left. I'm shaking. Come on, I've got it. Come on, Mike. Plenty of time. You made that look so easy, was it? Talk me through it. How was it? The bags are just so heavy, and that one bag is so much heavier, and it's just so hard to get over. Well, you had a great technique going on there. You're holding on with one arm and just pulling them off with the other. Fantastic effort from Mike there. Well done. Guys, can you believe this? Okay. Look at that little key! Let's see how that affects the scoreboard. It's four to the Jaguars and one to the Vipers. <laughs> you are steaming ahead. Time for us to take a break now, but don't go anywhere because there's lots more challenges to come here on Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. See you soon. Watch out, watch out! There's cannibals about! Brand new episode starts 7th of January on CITV! With a he and a he and a ho ho! Come on, we're starving! Oh, silly Santa! Are we having those mince pies, big guy? The exam rush! Yes! What are you waiting for? Christmas? <laughs> yes! 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 Ho ho! Time to relax <laughs> and enjoy those presents. Starts the 6th of January at 9 on ITV1 and CITV. Welcome back to Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. The Vipers are taking on the Jaguars to see how many keys they can win from the fort. So far, the Jaguars have four keys and the Vipers have just one key. But the next challenge is for both our teams. John and Mike, you'll be doing this one. Yeah. This is what you're going to have to do. In front of you are two planks. You need to get some balls and run them down the plank, making sure they don't fall off. The first team to get two balls in the pocket at the end of the plank wins the key. Just to make it a little bit more tricky for you, the platforms you're standing on 
aren't that stable, as you can see. We'll start with you, Mike. How are you feeling about this one? Quite nervous. My legs are a little bit shaky, and this is just... It looks really difficult. But you guys have already got four keys. Are you hoping to get the fifth one right now? Yeah, we're hoping to get the fifth so we get full time in the treasure chamber. That's what I like to hear. Now, John, how are you feeling about this one? You guys have only got one key. Yeah, I am feeling quite disappointed after losing the rocket challenge, but mm -hmm. I'm hoping that this kind of challenge is the type I'm good at and I'll manage to pull it back for my team. That's the kind of chat I like to hear. OK, your challenge starts now. OK. All right, first one down, both of them. So much harder than it looks. The trick here, guys, is to actually take your time. Take your time. Mike, slow down. Get a feel for it, and you know, if it's coming down really quickly, perhaps flattening it out can make that difference. There we go. Oh, almost there, John. Almost. It's this obstacle. Don't forget, you've only got a certain amount of balls, you don't want to waste all of them. Almost there, almost. Have we got it? Yes! Just need one more there, Vipers, to win this challenge. Oh, very close there, John. John, slow down. Take your time. Vipers are in the lead with one ball already. Take your time. Oh, oh, oh very close there, John. Don't forget, take your time, take your time. You've only got a limited amount of balls. You don't want to waste them. Good boy, well done. Really small movements. Small movements. Oh, that's so close there. Very close there, John. Very close. OK, Mike's almost past it. Oh, it's that last obstacle that gets in the way. Guys, you're just a little too fast. Try and slow it down a bit. How are you going to get out of this one here, Mike? How are you going to get out of this one? OK, you're out. Ah! Slow it down. Oh, John, that was... <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Come on, John. One more and you've got it. Vipers could really do with this key. The Jaguars get this key. Well, five keys. Full time in the treasure chamber. This last one, John, slowly, and you've got oh. it. Just don't get the squeeze it, just keep going, keep going. Oh, oh, very close there. Oh, so close. only a few balls left. Jaguars, you have four balls left. If neither of you do it, no one gets the key. Be cautious of your balls there, Mike. Be cautious of your balls. And it's the it. The Vipers win the key! John, you really needed this. After the rocket, you were really demoralised. You must be feeling great now. I'm feeling so good because there was a point when I thought I would run out of balls and I wouldn't be able to do it, but luckily I managed to win the key. Yeah, so what was your technique then? Describe it to us. I think my technique was just to keep my arm balanced on the board so that the board wouldn't be too tilted so I could control the board mm. how I wanted it okay. to be. And you, Mike, it got so close towards the end, I thought you were going to get one of the I got the hang of it towards the end, but at least you've still got four keys. All right, let's see how that affects the scoreboard. The Jaguars have four keys and the Vipers have two. Vipers! <laughs> You're catching up, guys. Yeah, how are you feeling? Good. We're getting yeah. there. OK, well, there's going to be lots more chances yeah. for your team to win some keys, but right now I'm going to take the Jaguars for your solo challenge. Follow me! Let me hear that chant, guys! Tom, team captain, who's doing this challenge? Celeste. Celeste, come on forward. So, in this cell, the key is hanging from a frozen pipe. You've got to move the key along the pipe all the way to the end, through the traps, through the cold, open the box to grab the key you need to win the challenge. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, it's pretty cold in there. This is actually the fort's freezer. OK. How are you feeling? Fine, I'll do it for my team. Good with the cold? Yes. You are going to be up against the clock as well, so yeah. time is of essence. OK. Good luck. Your team are going to be behind you. The time will start as soon as you enter the cell. And your time starts now. Best 
it to get in there. Head first. Head first is best. She needs to go head first. 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 She needs to go head first. Head first. Head first is Celeste, best. you need to go head first. Celeste, you need to come out of that and go head first. See if she can do it. See if she can do it. Yeah, good. She's well, ignored my advice and gone for it feet first. That'll make it trickier to get out the other end. She's out. Keep it going, keep it going. Nice and quick. You've got loads of time left, keep going. That's it, good. Keep going. Keep going all the way around. That's it, nice and quick. Go, go, go. Keep it up. Go, go, go. You've got just over half. Just over half. Keep it going. That's it, good. You need to go right now. Right to the bottom, you get to Keep it going. Oh, no, no, come out of the hoop. That's it, good. There we go, good. Keep going. Yes. Yes. Excellent. That's the left. Yeah, good. Yeah, well done. Keep going. <laughs> just, just how cold are you? Freezing. <laughs> that was incredible. Incredible. You didn't even like get your head in the ice. You just managed it. You must have extra long arms. Yeah. Should we have My a little look? <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a little look at that action? I went in the wrong way. I went in feet first, so I had to sort of bend my way out at the end. I still done it. That was good. It was colder than being in the North Pole. It was extremely cold. I, I don't even think peng penguins could take that. So let's have a look at how that affects the scoreboard. It's five keys to the Jaguars and two keys to the Vipers. And Andy's with the Vipers now for their next challenge. OK, Team Captain Lauren. Yes. I've just found out that the Jaguars have now got five keys. Yes. Are you feeling the pressure to try and get another key here? I am now. All right. <laughs> Don't worry, but you're the captain. No, you're yeah, setting the no. example. I'm going to get one. Yep. All right, do you want me to tell you what you have to do? Yes, please. All right. As you can see, there's a narrow beam in front of you, high above the treasure chamber. You need to edge this chair along the beam. Then when you are level with the trapeze, you need to mount onto the chair mm -hmm. and do a big jump, grab onto the trapeze and pull the code, which you're going to shout out to your teammates to unlock the box. Mm -hmm. You got that? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about it? A bit nervous, but I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Bit windy up here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit. A bit OK. Have faith in you, man. Thanks. All right, get ready. <clears throat> your challenge starts. Now. Take it slow, Lauren. Time, slow. <coughs> That's it. Focus on something. Yes. Take your time. Let's give us some space. That's it. Really well already, Lauren. Really well. You already passed the start. Keep going. That's it. You're doing so well. Take some serious guts to walk away then. I'll tell you. Brilliant. Take steady. Look at that. Steady. Brilliant. You got the right technique there. That's it. Don't, Don't worry. worry. Don't, Don't worry. worry. It's fine. That's it. Keep going. Keep it, that's yeah, it. Great pace there, great You're pace You're doing so already. well. Great pace. This focus work. is so good. You're doing so well. See, real true team captain. That's Brilliant. It. You're making it look easy, Lauren. Halfway, Lauren. <laughs> yeah, you are, actually. <laughs> Brilliant. Keep going, keep going. Got got just one. a walk in the park, Lauren. <laughs> you look like a natural. You actually... yeah. <laughs> she is. Have we done this before, Lauren? <laughs> yeah, keep on going, come on. That's come it. On. You're so close now. I would love you guys to get this key, just to make it, you know, a bit close. Give us a shout, we'll yeah. get to the treasure chamber. Exactly. Yeah. Can't have the Jaguars walk away with it, can we? You can do it, Lauren. Let her know when she's near the trapeze, because she probably can't see. You're, you're, you're just a few more, literally a few more, and you're so close. One more. There we go, one more. One more, then look up. Right, now look to your right, and you should see the trapeze. OK, a little tip for you. Try and lean for the chair forward to help you out. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to fall off. Neither are you. That's it. Really Over. steady. Brilliant. Well, it's leaned right forward, so you're not going to. It's not going to wobble. It. It's not going That's anywhere. That's it. Brilliant. Take a massive leap, Lauren. Compose yourself and jump as you can do it, Lauren. far you can do as it. you can. Lauren. You can do it. Yes. Yes, Lauren. And now right, open the, the wallet with the code. Oh my God. Grab the rope. Yes. You got it. What is it? What is it? Five, four, nine, two. Well done, Lauren. Oh, well done, Lauren. Well done. What's the code? Five. Five. 
I can't see it. That's all we got it. We got it. Five, four, nine, two. It's okay. We got it. Well done. Five, four, nine, two. Can I let go? Yeah. Yes. Can I let go? Got the key. Lauren, let go. Enjoy. Whoa. Lauren. How'd you feel, man? How petrified were you as you were walking out? I'm shaking like a leaf, not gonna lie. <laughs> well done, Lauren! <laughs> this is what I like to see, yes! yes. We now have a competition! Yes. How'd you feel, man? Good. Jeremy? Yeah. Feeling good? Uh, we're gonna win it, yeah. I like this, I like this Woo! chat. Well, let's take a look at some of those highlights! Yes, well done, Lauren. I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I was so nervous. Heights don't bother me, but this was a bit, shook me up a little bit. I didn't even realise when I got towards the trapeze. I didn't even... I had no idea I was there. My teammates had to tell me that I was there, cos I would have kept walking and probably walked off the end. But I kept going and stopped and then, obviously, jumped onto it and got the code. The excitement you feel when you jump off and, like, manage that you know you've got it, it's insane. Like, it's so exciting knowing that you've just done something like that. Like, you don't get to do that every day, so it's pretty cool. Vipers have got ourselves another key! Yes, come on! So I'd like to see. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. The Jaguars have five keys, and the Vipers have three keys. So this is it, guys. The final challenge and your last chance to win this key before we head to the treasure room. Are you ready? Yes! yes! So, in front of you, you will see a floating platform. One at a time, one person from each team must step forward, place a cylinder on the floating platform to build a tower. The person that makes the tower topple will lose the challenge for their team. Are you clear? Yes. yes. Are you ready? Yes. Andy, if you'd like to toss the coin, please, to tell yeah. us who's going first. OK, well, we'll go the Tiger side for the Jaguars and uh, Football Yard side for the Vipers. Mm -hmm. Ready? Almost dropped that one. <laughs> Football Yard side, you guys go first. OK. Good luck, Lauren. You're going to step forward yep. first. Let's do this. But it is pretty tense, because you've got the whole other team staring at you. You've got your own team staring at you, you. And it's just, obviously, you know you're about to go into the treasure chamber and you know that all you're thinking, really, is how many coins you want to get. But you want to get that last key for that, just that little bit more time. Well done. Here's Mike. Everyone was placing the pipes on top, and if that wasn't hard enough, it was balancing on water, which just made it so unstable. And if you just got it a slightly out, it was terrible. It's looking wobbly already, Andy. Mm -hmm. Is he here, the Jaguars? There's a slight lean on that, isn't it's there? It's the uh, <laughs> leaning <laughs> tower of <laughs> Boyard. <laughs> Not bad, Laura. It's John for the Vipers. Nice and quiet, guys. <gasps> the first one Lauren put down was nice and right in the centre, and then I sort of piled mine on top, and it was a little bit slanted, and then they sort of got a bit wobblier as it went up. It was so tense. My hand was shaking. Put it down, and the look of relief on my face that it did not drop was amazing. When I placed it on, it seemed all right for a few seconds, and then after a while, it just fell. And I was so disappointed because I didn't want to be the one to knock it over for my team. The final key goes to the Jaguars! Yeah. Well done, Jaguars. Good effort from the Vipers. But let's have a look at how that affects the scoreboard. The Vipers have three keys, but the Jaguars now have six keys. And that bonus key means they'll get an extra 150 gold coins in the treasure chamber. <laughs> We've got lots of energy because guess where we're going? Where's that? The treasure chamber! Oh, right, let's go! <laughs> to unlock the gate and receive the full three minutes in the treasure chamber, each team must have five keys. For each key less than five, there's a ten-second time penalty. Each key over five earns a bonus of 150 gold coins. Once the gate is unlocked, the time begins and each team will be shown a map corresponding to the treasure chamber floor. They must memorise the four positions on the map that are marked with their team symbols. Then they must place their crests on the corresponding squares on the chamber floor. Each player then places a hand on the scanner and if they're correct, the key to the treasure chest will be released and the team can start collecting the gold coins. 
If they get it wrong, they must try again until they get it right. The team with the most coins wins. Congratulations, teams. You made it to the treasure chamber. Yeah. It's a straight race to grab as many coins as you can that will be added to your overall tournament leaderboard score. Now, you needed five keys to unlock the gate behind me and also earn the maximum amount of time to grab the fort's gold. So, we'll start with you, Vipers. You want yourself three keys, which is great, but sadly, it means you've got a 20-second penalty. So, I'll put these keys in here for you. Really good effort, though, guys. Well done. And, Jaguars, you've got six keys. Amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. So that means you get the maximum amount of time in the treasure chamber and you get a 150 coin bonus. <laughs> so when the gate starts to open, your map will be revealed. Vipers, your map will be revealed once your time penalty is up. You ready for the treasure chamber, guys? Yes! yes. Good luck, Handy. OK, your time starts now. The Jaguars are taking a good look at their map. So if you know where he's going, he was already there before it opened. Do you know what? They're not wasting any time, are they, the Jaguars? No, 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 no. But are they going to get it right? They've rushed. Are they going to get it right? All right. It's coming. It's coming, right, Vipers. There you go. So the Vipers are memorising their map now. All right, Jaguars have got the key. Now, Vipers, get this yeah. right. It'd be great if they got this one. I would like to see it become much more of a closer contest. Yes! Well done! Both teams are away. Collect as much gold as possible! Can the Vipers catch up here, Andy? What do you reckon? I don't know. It's a tough one. Fistfuls of gold, people! Fistfuls of gold! <laughs> well done, Lauren. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of coins. Well done. Left, guys. It's like a fantastic take by both teams. And Harrod's looking a little tired there. Last furlong, yeah, no, the last bit, the last bit. Got to keep going, the last bit. Keep going. Come on, team! When you hear that bell, the gate will start closing. It's a sign for you guys to leave. Oh, no! That's the bell. Oh, no! Come on, teams, oh, you can! Go, guys! Go, go! Get out before the gate oh, The gates are closed, come on! Oh, Celeste, come on! Oh, Celeste. Wow, that was close. Let's have a look at some of those key moments. In the treasure chamber, we just wanted to take our time to look at the map, make sure we didn't get it wrong, make sure we could figure out who was placing what shield on what which square. And we got it right first time, which was great. Despite the fact that we had the extra bag of coins, the 150 coins, we just wanted to get as much coins as we could in the treasure chamber, because the group that we faced, Vipers, were not very far behind us. Even though we had a time penalty, we managed to grab loads of coins and we, we were neck and neck with the other team, considering they had three more keys than us. So I'm really proud of everyone in the tre uh, treasure chamber. I think we did really well today. So, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to see how much gold both teams have collected from the treasure chamber. So we'll start with you, Vipers. How do you think that went first? Really good. Yeah. I'm really proud of everyone. Yeah, brilliant. OK, let's see how much you've made. This is what it's all about. Big haul. Well done. All right, stand back. Let's see what your total is. Yes! Oh! Zero! One, three, ninety. We were talking a little earlier. You yeah. said you'd just be happy if you over get over a thousand. Yeah. How do you feel about this one? I'm ecstatic. I'm so happy. Oh. Yeah. Well brilliant. done, Vipers. Well done. Woo! Grab your gold out. So, Tom, you had a 150 coin bonus. Well done. So I'm going to put that into the scales. And if you'd like to lift 
and load for your team. Pretty big score to beat, Tom. Mm. Do you think you could have got us in the bag? Uh, well, I hope so. With that bonus, we should hopefully have it. But, I mean, the amount of coins they got in that time was crazy. They did well. Yeah, cool. really well. Well, let's see how well you've done. Just well done. Everyone did amazingly well. Aww. So brilliant. Yeah, well yeah. Done. And well done to the Viper yes, team. Yes. <laughs> well, well, let's see how that affects the overall tournament leaderboard. The Vipers are in fourth place, but with a huge score of 4,570, the Jaguars overtake the Sharks and the Falcons into first place. All right, that is it. We've had a fantastic show. Two great teams. Some brilliant challenges. I can't wait for the next one. Me neither. Until next time, it's goodbye from us all here on Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. See you later. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Today at the fort, I had a wicked time because the zip wire was so much fun, even though I lost the challenge. The Vipers had such a good day on the fort today, and even though the fort is hard, it definitely is rewarding. I've done something that I've never done before and probably never will experience ever again. Uh, all the challenges were scary at start, but then as soon as you get into them, they're just incredibly fun. Fort Boyard's been a breathtaking experience, absolutely loved every minute of it, it's been amazing.